Hey there guys, we're taking a look at Giraffe today. He's in IM playing demo and obviously the map is Koth Asheville. Or uh Koth Coal Plant, <laughs> my bad. Let's see how this goes. Skip the roll. I think that up top even though it was a bit better on Asheville, I think it's probably worse on Coal Plant because you have that main entrance. You just get out there a lot quicker. Um, that said, if you're probably playing up here, you probably don't want to take any heals at all. Just kind of siege them from afar. So, the demo is Miri. Like, I wouldn't drop down here, because he's just going to be able to hit you really easily. Like, if he's not walking a straight line, you know, he just, like, he can just hit you from behind the shed pretty easily. That was pretty good, like, I don't know, just a good mid. Um, yeah, it would have been better to aim those pipes a bit more when the soldier was getting on your- like he didn't exactly dodge that much. So instead of wasting three to kill him, just hit him with one or two. Just for the sake of ammo management. So you guys need to go for- you should wait for 260 here, go with your med. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you guys are taking so long, because you just need to get out. I mean, it's a bit better to push from this top right. It's a lot easier for soldiers to get in, but... At this point, they were down three after just capping. Uh, and I assume their med was still up, so you should just uh, focus their med down. And this, this isn't your problem. Uh, like, again... He's not exactly moving very... Well, I guess you could say, but like you just make sure you hit the easy shots on demo. Like a lot of demo men just throw their pipes away. Like it's fucking, I don't know. It's how it's candy on Halloween. You know, you gotta if you're investing the time to take out pipes and not be reloading stickies or putting damage on people with stickies, then you make sure you hit the pipes. So just like calm down and just chill out and like. Use your pipes as, like, space control as well as just trying to get kills. Whereas, like, you're flicking a lot, and you're trying to hit them. Whereas, when I play demo, I, I, I pipe to where I think they're going to be. So if it misses, it's also kind of constraining, like, a behavior that I would kind of assume that was really good. Like, if my med's backing up, and I'm, like, across the map, I'm going to pipe just because I think I can prediction pipe some guy. I'll pipe, um, like, in front of him if I expect him to go to my med. Um, and if it, if he slows down but he's still trying to get at my med, then, you know, my pipe might miss, but it still, still prevented him and, like, deterred him, deterred him in some way. Like, that's what you're, like, you're looking to get more out of a pipe than just damage. Like, obviously hitting them is the best, um, and then there, it gets into, like, how you hit them, because Demo Man, uh, especially if you're, if you're kind of have to follow up on that damage yourself, you want to be shooting pipes at certain times to kind of force their movement a certain way, or potentially pop them up, so, like, if someone jumps, you know, it's pretty obvious when you want to pipe them, like the apex of their jump, hit them pretty easily. Stuff like that, like you just kind of don't wait for the timings, and it wastes a lot of time, uh, and that kind of leads to your damage output being pretty shit. And obviously here, this is the worst case situation when your medic went down, and you spend a lot of time trying to deal with the soldier when it wasn't really your fault, or like your job, and now their medic's still up, and I don't know if he died on mid, but you know, he still has Uber, or at least he's gonna get Uber before you guys, and you're not loaded to do anything about it. So, they have a sniper, you could jump him and you probably kill him. Oh, he's on the la or the right. Yeah, that was probably the right call then. Uh, but, yeah, on this map you just need to be constantly harassing uh, from this top right. You don't really need a mech. Uh, like, obviously, if you can get in the push, then be in the push, but... 
Yeah, so they backed up for some reason. Uh, I expect them to have Uber right now. See, that's... You're not, like, piping properly again. You're just throwing them for the sake of throwing them. If you're gonna do that, you might as well just put up sticky traps everywhere. Like, I don't know, Demo Man's like, it's so easy on Demo Man to make sure pretty much every shot hits or at least does something. You don't really get that with other classes, you know. Demo Man, if you miss, there's a lot of opportunities for that miss to do a whole lot. So, like, sticky in a way that you can prevent them from or other people pushing on your team if you get jumped or someone jumps behind you guys or just make sure the pipes easy like as he's walking into the top left you know pipe him ar around that fence because he can't see you so he doesn't know you're piping but you can there's a little hole in the fence so you could pipe him uh, just by watching his movement through it um, but like you can't you can't afford just like wasting all that time like a lot a lot about FPS in general is you have to read the situation if someone's aggressing on you it's really easy like especially as a team game like it's really easy to just like I'm assuming every aggression is going to be followed up upon and if it's only one person going in I'd imagine a lot of people could handle it by themselves. This is the kind of player I am, and obviously if everyone's doing this, it's not that great. But I assume all the time that something else is going to happen if if there's someone in on, on our med, or just kinda, someone trying to make a play. So it's really easy to just set up and like kind of expect someone to come through a door and kind of destroy them bef before they really get into the fight. And you do a lot more for your team that way, and it's a lot more consistent. And it's probably something you should be looking to do as demo man because you know doing consistent damage when people are close to you is pretty difficult i don't know if that traps that great like put it further up so you have a ch like you can hold that door for a while and it really doesn't hurt unless they have a sniper the peaks main so this is dumb too like if you just get up there and you start shelling them, their demos always wait. Already wasted four or five stickies. You probably kind of win them, and your sticks are getting cleared right now. You should be looking to take them out and prevent them from getting in. This isn't about like you don't want to waste pipes like that. Like if you need to defend yourself, obviously you don't have them loaded. And in general, pipe span is just shit. You can just do more with stickies all the time. Like, sometimes you get low on stickies because of that, but if you're managing your ammo well, taking packs when they come up, it's not a problem. And, like, the damage you do with stickies is, a little, like, it's a lot more consistent, and it's going to prevent people from being, being able to push in rather than getting killed. Like, pipes have a chance of, like, succeeding and getting a bunch of kills, but, you know, stickies, they're going to really restrict the enemy's ability to kind of get at your team, which is ultimately your goal. Like, you want to be protecting your teammates, not getting kills and shit. And I, I don't know, pipes just, they're not good spamming and, like, it's uh, on certain points, like, balance choke is fine. Uh, this is good. Keep on the soldier. Okay, he's dead. Should've just kept reloading. Okay, like I said, just wait for the easy shots. Demo Man, especially, is all about just... Like, they're just... I don't know. I think I have pretty sick pipes. And it's it's not that I really aim. It just, if someone does a certain action, I know how to react to it. Like, a certain dodging pattern. I don't, like, always hit that shot. You just need to learn, like, I don't know, probably go on DM and just pipe or something. Because a lot of scouts are really easy to pipe. You just have to wait for them to jump. Um, and follow up with the, the pipe on the double jump, or... Or just, like, especially in that corner, it's just easy to predict how they're gonna come around it. 
But that you could definitely sticky back there. And then, I don't know, I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention, but everything up until that seems kind of fine. I don't know, I just, I wouldn't ever die as demo. There's not, especially on this map, you can do all your damage from the top right. So, I imagine they're all going to be on the ground. Uh, I would probably not drop down from here. Yeah. Okay, so now you're on the point and you're not doing anything. And you're just gonna maybe take some damage that you don't want to be taking. You're just making it like, well, obviously you killed your mech there accidentally, but like you're just not really doing it. Like, you could have done everything you're doing here from up top and been safer. And obviously not put a little bit of strain on your medic. And again, this is shit, dude. You just have to be hurting them. You can't afford to hope that random shit hits. Like, you can control hitting stickies. If someone gets hit by a pipe, it's their fault, and you don't want to rely on people making mistakes. Like, they probably wouldn't have this, like, quarter capped if you had been sticky spamming them. You should start going in top left. Stop sticking that. Like, uh, you can kind of tell what they're doing in the Uber just based off of sound. Now, yeah, you should have just gone in top left with your medic after you backed on me. Like, if they decide to come through the door, you're already kiting over there, which is great. So their meds weak, they won't be there for a while. Uh, no, you won't be able to get in time. So, you kind of have to go. I probably wouldn't go through main. Mm, probably sticky. Don't do that. Just get damage. Like, I mean, you had to do some miraculous there, but going for a shot, like an air sticky that just, like, if you can't. If you're not firing the sticky before they're jumping, you're probably not going to hit it. So, yeah, like over the air pipe or, or you know, kill the scout in the shed. This mid's pretty easy since they're on the left. You just need to focus on right near that fence to the right of it and just make sure no one gets through and you'll win. Just push forward and you don't have to worry about that. See, like, if you were controlling that area a bit better, your team would have. I don't know. It's fine, but you should have just focused on the, that area to the right of the fence. If everyone's right, they're not going to be able to aggress onto the point if you do something like that. Don't just kill him. Yeah. Okay, so you have time. Like this trap shift, dude. Just put it further up if you're going to put one up. Don't waste all your stickies and start of spamming them. Take your mech onto the point and just start spamming them. No, you need to be hitting them right now. Because if they jump you with both soldiers, their meds getting forced no matter what. Unless he serves. Now he's just you're not giving him the opportunity to dodge very well right now. Like honestly, that demo could have gone a lot higher and your sticks would have done nothing at all. And these soldiers could just take like I never I got dead on once going on Shaq, and I just always avoid it from now, and it doesn't really hurt my jumps, so, I, I don't know, it's stupid putting stickies up there, like you'd much rather put them on the opposite side of the map, like, sticky off this and the, the far right, so while they're jumping at you from on the left, they can't really get in on the right, the other players. But for the most part, if you're just actively spamming these soldiers, you kind of force their hand. Uh, which is a lot better than letting them kind of get the oppor opportune engage. Uh, you should be hitting them right now. So that's... no, oh, how is their med. Why are you running away? They're still... you can still hit the fuck out of them. If there's any that ever that many people on the cap, you can just shit on their face. 
Like, there's no way that Uber, like, they flashed a lot from what you saw, and it didn't start when you looked at them, so there's no way it was going to be long enough to push you up on the left. At the like, it would just worked out for you, because it would have ended with you, like, them on you, and you just be fully loaded, and they have nothing, and, yeah. But yeah, I, again, it's, I don't really get the, uh, the, uh, sticky thing. Or, sorry, the pipe thing. You just waste your pipes a lot. Like, this is shit, dude. Like, I don't know. I just don't get down, man. They don't appreciate, like, the tools they have. Like, just shoot them with stickies. You could have killed the demo man. Or force them already, just shooting them with stickies. Like, they just walked up here. Your pipes didn't do anything. I mean, sometimes they're gonna hit them. But why not just 100% just hit them with stickies? Like, you haven't, you've gotten one person with that trap, I think. Is that really worth it? Wasting all of that energy? Just to get one person the entire game? Don't drop down. Yeah. yeah. You should be waiting on the pack again, because that's about when their Uber is going to end. It will come up. And you can still be damaging that guy. Yeah. See, stop it. You're just shooting for the sake of shooting. You got to think of what the other player is going to do. It's all about prediction. Like, you can't just... You can't just have that. L you need confidence when you're playing demo. Like, Medic! like uh, you just uh, you, you gotta think like what they're gonna do. You can't just be afraid. And this is kind of doomed since this guy was behind you, but yeah, um, you can't just like. Demo Man isn't about how much, you know, damage you do in a short period. Like, it's, you're all obviously going to do a shit ton of damage. It's like, how much ammo you use in doing that damage, so. Just make sure all, all your shots count, and like, especially, like, that situation. You gotta, like, delay a bit just to mindfuck the, the people you're fighting against. You can't. It's like, scouts are just gonna wreck you if you keep doing shit like that. Can't really afford to play their game, you know? Kinda gotta put the fear in them. So yeah, this is fine, except when you take your pipes out. Just hit them. Like, you just predict where they're gonna go, and if they don't go there, at least your pipe prevented them from going there. And that's 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 when you choose to shoot pipes when there's a situation where you can prevent someone from going somewhere or hitting them. So like when he's going towards your scout to do some damage or like obstruct uh, by using that fence there, you can shoot at towards the fence and push him further away from the point so that it's easier for the scout to hit him. And, and if he does do that, you obviously pipe him and you win. But like can't just, which there's this very important timing for pipes. You get a lot more out of them if you miss, if you do it properly. And they're also less likely to miss. So yeah, just unfortunate mid. I think um, you're not damaging the right things for the most part. Like that mids when you were in top right, you did a really good job the first one and the second one. But when you went main, uh, you don't really, I don't know, I think you focus on the soldiers too much. So there's no point in peeking this that much because you want to be forcing them right now. You can't really sit around and herp derp, you know. You're not going to get a whole lot done pushing through that door since they saw you the first time. Could have been up here like 10 seconds earlier and just shelling them. You don't want those stickies there anymore. And, you, like, you could just sticky them. 
Just charge up your. Let's see how this vulnerable this mech is just to getting spammed out. You hit two stickies on him, and the mid's yours. Or the point. Stop peeking from here. You can peek from the left or the right, and both of them are. Like, the left, you have a definite sight line on the medic. On the right, you just kill him. With spam. Take. Jump, to, jump off that sticky. Yeah, you don't want to take the uber when you're not loaded or you're not pushing into pete, like, general rule. Okay, obviously, okay, so, like, here's a thing about scouts. If they're not really hurt and they get behind you, they're probably coming back through the same door. At the very least, it's the most immediate threat to you, so you probably want to sticky that off or pre-fire a pipe there. Both of them probably would have hit. I've probably gone with the pipe since you really low on stickies. And you could have stickied off the door above you as you were walking up. But yeah, if you had been up here uh, and used the Uber to get up here, you probably would have had a better fight there. Like, if you're not actively killing people as Demoman, you don't want to be Ubered, you know. Defensive Ubers are tough with Demoman because it's hard to kill people getting aggressive on you. Or your, or your med are just positioning themselves to kill you after the Uber. And so, as soon as you see that soldier move his mouse, like he flicked that back. Um, in general, he just wasn't firing rockets or trying to back up. You should know he's trying to jump. And it's the easiest, like, just spam him with stickies and stump his jump as he's jumping or hit him in the air. But, uh, yeah, that was fine. Okay, so yeah, if you peek up here, you have a big good good buff. Don't trap. It's not doing shit. If there's someone there, they know there's a fucking trap there and doesn't mean shit. And if there's no one there, you're just waiting on that trap for too long. Like, you gotta be looking left right now. No one's looking left. Alright, your scouts are up there. Uh, there's too many people up on the left shack, by the way, but... Like, just shoot them, man. Just, like, you know they're on the left. There's at least a scout there. Okay, just shoot them. Now go push them. It's just demo med there. You can afford to take damage, take a pack, and that healing, and that damage is really efficient, because you're not going to be wasting a whole lot of your max time. He can buff up while you get a pack, and you've stopped the push for 10 seconds. As long as you don't die there. The demo is like, you can just tell by his posture that he didn't have much loaded. Just leave. Just leave. Just go get the health up top. You, you can't succeed here. You know? You need to go top left with your med. Uh, obviously he wanted to go back main, but... Don't waste something, dude. The first one is fine. You know, you just miss, messed up the charge a bit. But if you don't hit, hit him with the first one, the odds that you're going to hit him with the subsequent ones are pretty low. Because you're not really bouncing him around, you know. You didn't get a... You weren't, like, timely enough with the first one so that the following ones could hit him. So you just got to turn your attention elsewhere. You know, if you're looking at him and he knows you're sh shooting at him, he's probably going to drop down anyway, so you can uh, kind of control his positioning without really wasting a whole lot of ammo on him. That's pretty ideal. And there you should have been sticking off the soldier that didn't quite get on you guys, because he was easy damage. Don't worry about this guy on the right, he's just going to run away from you. I, that was questionable. Okay, I don't know why you did it there. Uh, like that one stick was the only thing protecting you. I think you're, you're trying to do things really fast and you shouldn't be. That's not how you play Demo Man.
See, like, with a soldier behind you, I wouldn't be putting a sticky to defend myself. I'd take the, the odds that we'd win that fight with his spam. Guy just shooting at you, he'd probably be able to protect you fine and just try to stick you off the scout there. And that's crap. No one's gonna get hit by those pipes. You're not even aiming them. Like, just having your stickies out and then switching a pipe after they're moving a certain way, like committed to a certain movement or they'll get hit by a sticky, is it's probably like you gotta weapon switch a lot. You want to watch the right, because you don't have eyes on it, and the scout could be pushing it. Just leave. Nice. Th see, that was the kind of... I, I think you were just doing your general flick thing, but... You see how your cursor was in a position to hit him as he was backing up? And a position that would hit him if he pushed forward and to his right? Um, that's what you want to do. Like, you want to constrict movement with the potential to hit them with pipes. Uh, but this mid, you really should have been charging a bit better towards the right side. Like, I w you should have been working on hitting those soldiers before they jumped. I would have expected a scout to push you a lot earlier. Um, and then as soon as the soldiers kind of got over there, you need to start crossing to the left or surf a rocket over there. I think your medic's over there. Uh, but he just went down, I think. But, um, obviously being with the medic in that situation after you damage the soldiers, it's like instant GG. So that was what you should have been looking to do, but nonetheless, pretty good. This pack's gonna, you should give it to your scout. Your shit, like, he's shit at low health, like, I'll just get gibbed. But you are amazing at low health. So you can use him as a distraction as you can. And so it should have been the reverse, basically. You know, he cleaned up at, like, the low hoops while you kind of distracted. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. He, you can't really dodge damage as well as him. So, I would go take ammo and health right now, because just killed, like, three people. Um... Yeah, this is dumb. That was the easy air sticky if you put stickies out. You need to control the right of this fence now. So wait, this is your game. Oh, everyone died. I don't know. You need to act quicker. You can't just be so passive and just hope that they run into your traps and shit. As a garbage way of playing demo man. You just always push them. So. Oh. Okay, you should have been sticking there because they're all grouped up. So stop, just sticky. You sticky. Okay, so that sticky, if he's on that panel on the left there. You just fire it in the air, because you hit him if he stays, and you hit him really hard if he tries to leave. And now, your soldiers need to be getting in. I don't know what you guys are waiting on, really. Just get the fuck in. You could get a couple suicides in, or you could get a really bad one in, like what's going on right now. Uh, but you especially need to be damaging the right things. You know, hit the people on the point with stickies. Hit the guy on the right, and suddenly all of them are damaged. And they won't be able to take the right. Um, because you're there. You, they won't be able to take it back until they're healed up, so your soldiers have a pretty good opening. Uh, this... Like, they have the oops. Uh... Why are you doing that? You only need one. See? See how well that one sticky worked? Yeah, this is pretty good. We have captured the control point. Stop wasting the stickies. Mm -hmm. 
swear to God, if you put up that shitty trap again. You. Yeah, fuck, man. Fuck traps. Especially on cough. This is your fucking game mode, dude. You just bully people, like, more more so than usual, you know? Just get get up in people's shit, man. So they have a sniper. If you get if you can get around this fence and out of his sightline, you will absolutely shit on him. Um, now kill the demo. The med shouldn't be bad enough. To, yeah, the med shouldn't be bad enough to die to you, but you can kill this. Help kill this demo quicker. So he went down. That's good. Now you need to take height because the only thing that's going to come at you is a, a like a roamer that's really going to pose a threat. So if you can spot him earlier, it'll help your team and you'll probably be able to stump his jump with stickies. That shit's retarded. We already went over that. Doesn't do anything. It's gotten like a kill. 25 minutes of playing. It's gotten a kill. You could have definitely killed him by yourself with like three stickies. Now they're on you and they use. You want to make them use before they get on you. That way you can save your uber potentially or at least have like a better. You always want to be fighting on your terms and you're letting them kind of do what they want. Keep shooting. No, nothing's underneath you. You saw the soldier back on the left. Even if there is, it's not your. Oh, maybe there is. Well, it's not your job. Just keep pushing up. The soldier behind on the on the shack can like turn back. At, and if your max playing properly, they'll like naturally be uh, kiting from that area. Like it's just not valuable to waste that much time and energy on it. And then you looked away and then they just walked through, you know? Like, that'll happen a lot. Wasting a lot of ammo on stuff that can't hit. Like, there's a couple of shots there that we're never gonna hit. The following shot in the soldier, and the sh the, you miss the scout with one shot, and then you fired another sticky at the same spot. Like, he's not gonna run back into it. Okay, just stop. You're, you're, like, there isn't a sense of urgency with demo. You're just the best class. Uh, in this situation, you're you're the top notch. Like you, you destroy everyone. Just chill out and hit every shot. Jump the sticky. Uh, you jump the sticky. While you're still Uber. Fully load because you're not gonna win this fight unless you have eight stickies. Um, jump the sticky. Yeah, uh, you're not really using the stickies that you have laid out. It's kind of weird. But you can't waste four stickies there because you need to win, and like now. You know. So you should be working on that, not sticking up a door. Now we're blue for the rest of the game. Ah, oh. Alright, so yeah, that's a good first shot. Uh, now you need to worry about, you hit that demo, you, you're kind of making them uncomfortable. You need to worry about the soldiers now, you know. If you don't see them on the left, that's a sight line you do have, you should be pre-firing their right. Uh, probably your third or second sticky. You know, your first one hit the demo. I think you sent your second one right a little bit early, so probably the third sticky. And you'll just kind of make them pretty unhappy about their lives. No reason not to take that health. You don't want to be a burden on, like, Demo and Pocket Soldier. 
demo in particular are the classes that you really want to be managing in your health. Uh, when I play demo, I try to take as little health as possible. And it actually, it really helps out your team a lot and it doesn't really reduce your, your damage that much. Um, so just managing your health really well is like, on every class it's important, but I'd say most important on demo. Okay. I don't know what that's like. That's you should just wait to see where your first sticky sends him and then shoot. You kind of like pre fire it, it doesn't really make sense. Unless you can put it on a wall where it'll hit him no matter what or something. Okay, but he's not there anymore. If he is, he's an idiot. Like, you, you don't waste four stickies on that. Okay, the first one was good, and you can tell the what how he'll move after. Like he's gonna back up, so you just predict him backing up. And if he moves forward because you shot a pipe behind him, then you can sticky him. Like that's what you want to be doing with pipes. I don't know why you're not helping with that sniper a bit more, but uh, yeah. I just put damage like where your team is. That's the only thing you need to do on demo, man. It's not about you know getting a bunch of kills or getting a bunch of damage. It's just getting damage that your team can use or uh, damage that results in something positive, like pushing them back or forcing them early. Okay, so if you have a bunch of traps there, you don't want to be spamming your pipes there because people obviously like you're looking at it. And, you're just kind of making it not that attractive to push through that door by pipes. Like, fuck this! This is not your job. Just kill these guys now. Your job. Sticky them. Oh. This is. This is magic. Probably wanted to go right here. Okay, you're gonna the pack. Oh no, you're just uh, not shooting properly. I like that. Oh, no, I guess that's the only. R that's a real problem for downloads. They just don't. Okay, that was fine. You cut off his exit. You shot at him, so you constrained him backing up away from your scout committing him to the fight and then you killed him. That was great. Those three stickies were exactly what you needed. And this is good. But why would you stop sticking there? You just hit him for like that pipe probably did uh, like 90 overkill. Like he was probably like 2 HP. Like he didn't have an overkill buff to begin with and then you hit him for like 110 or something. Put them on the ground so he can't get out. There you go. But do that earlier, you just wasted three stickies on nothing. I imagine he's gone by now. Ends in 30 seconds. This is see you did it this time, you just fucking shit on them as they were coming through a door. You forced them to split three times, killed someone, forced them early, and your med lived. Maybe he's dead. To begin with. But no, he lived. Like that was perfect. Exactly what you wanted to do. Now all you need to do guys, like you just need to push in and you'll win. Pretty much. I'd probably be pushing in from, like this is the same thing's gonna happen. The dumb man's just gonna kill you. So this is a bad uber. Sticky. 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 Alright. So, yeah, if someone's in, like, just, especially if you're Ubered, you got all the fucking time in the world, just sticky. Prevent him from moving around and eventually you'll kill him. Okay, put like five down. If the heavy's not turning at you, just put like five down on him. That's juicy. And then kill him. <laughs> Jump a second time. Okay, never mind. 
Stop it. Stop it. See? You could have been killing the heavy. Instead, you missed a bunch, and then when you started killing the heavy, the opportunity is lost because someone else showed up. Stop it. Stop piping. Stop. No, you need it loaded now. You need it loaded now. If something doesn't run into your stickies, you fucked. See, look. You don't have max stickies loaded. They could have gone earlier, probably. Still gone it. Still don't have max loaded because of the fucking random ass traps you put up and they didn't do anything. It's fine to put up one or two and you can make sure you're loaded but it's it's really stupid to put up like seven stickies. Like one or two. Well, maybe someone will walk into those I'll get really lucky but seven that's just relying too much on luck you know. So um what we're taking from this is get high ground more, take less heals, manage your health better, make sure your pipes are doing more than just potentially killing people, you know, constraining their movement, restricting them a bit, and uh, reload stickies more, don't waste them all on stupid traps, or like mini traps, and um, just shit on them, just like, especially on cough, you know, you just just kill them on their side of the map. Like, it, it gets a little dicey when they get towards your side of the map, but as long as you can kind of keep pressure on them on their side of the map, you're going to be doing insane damage, so just work on that.